Kennesaw State falls at home this Saturday, 83-64 to Jacksonville. Nolan Alexander joined by Terrence Hill. And Terrence, kind of the same story here for Kennesaw State. As of recent, a much better second half. There was a renewed energy after halftime, but it was tough to stop Jacksonville today. It was tough. And when you're down like this, there's no such thing of only playing a second half. you got to play two halves. Uh, they did tonight, and they find themselves down huge tonight. And, it, and it's a bad victory for Kennesaw. Great win for Jacksonville. Tyler Hooker. Had an incredible game, 30 points to lead all players, 10 of 18 from the field, 10 of 12 at the free throw line. He wasn't stopped tonight. No, he wasn't stopped. And also, like, the the, 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 the other players for Jacksonville, they wouldn't stop. It was the easy get into the basket, wide open shots. And as you see, they're knocking those shots down. This is just not a highlight reel. They really were showing this in the game. They were knocking shots down. But Kennesaw State, they show a glimpse of greatness, being in the passing lane, getting those steals, getting out on the break. But then you have this, David down low with the hook shot, left hook shot, and you focus on him, but it wasn't him that, that broke the, the Campbell's back. It was everyone else, like, having this turnover. Um, instead, I mean, he took advantage of it, and then finding three points wide open. That's what, that's what actually propelled him to get the victory tonight. Jacksonville shot 55% from the floor, 9 of 20 from distance. Up next for the Owls, doesn't get easy, on the road at Liberty, January 30th for a 7 p.m. tip. That's a tough, tough game. The Owls will look for their first A-Sun win in Lynchburg, Virginia, on the road at Liberty, up next for KSU.